Good afternoon, dear students. As we all know that we have started a new unit that is ecology and proceeding with the first chapter that is organism and population. Clear? Yesterday we have started with a new topic that is abiotic factors and we know that there we have studied about temperature, water, soil and light. Clear? Related to that only. Today I will tell you that what are the various responses of the biotic factor towards the abiotic factors. But before that I want my student must know about two important terms that is regulate and confirm. Clear? What is regulate? Student here we have to maintain a constant body temperature and osmolarity. Now what is osmolarity? Osmo osmolarity is there that here we have to maintain constant soil concentration inside our body clear and next is confirm here we have to adjust ourselves according to the surrounding clear so now i would like to proceed with my first response okay that is regulator clear and for that i will take the two parameters that is temperature and osmo Clarity. Clear? On this basis, organism has been divided into two parts that is osmoregulators and osmoconfirmers. Clear? What happen in osmoregulators? Clear? Here I will take example of two type of fishes which are surviving in a different habitat. Here what happen? Your fish is surviving in your fresh water where concentration of salt is only 5%. Clear? And inside the body of that fish, the concentration of salt is more, that is about 15%. So, salt will move from higher concentration to lower concentration, that is from the body of the fish to the outside through passive diffusion. Clear? And second problem is there that water will move from higher concentration to lower concentration, that is from outside to inside. So, now what this fish will do? To prevent herself from dying. Okay. That fish will excrete hypotonic urine. Hypotonic urine means that fish will excrete more and more water in her urine. Clear? And this fish will not drink much water. Why? Because that is already coming from outside to inside due to higher concentration of the water. And third is it will absorb more and more ions by the chloride cells which are present in the gills of that fish. Clear? So in that way that fish will protect herself. Whereas in second case what will happen when your fish is in sea water there concentration of salt is higher that is about 30 to 35 percent. Okay? Here also your salt will move from from water to the body of the fish and water will move from inside the body of the fish to outside. So how this fish will protect herself? Okay, by excreting hypertonic urine means that fish will excrete more and more salt in its urine. Okay, second it will drink lot of water. Clear? And third is it will actively pump out more and more salt. Okay, with the help of chloride cells which are present in the gills of that fish. Clear? Whereas what are osmoconfirmers here I have told that it will adjust according to the surrounding. So suppose this is fish. Okay. Here uh, when concentration of water outside is 5% and inside it is 15%. Okay. It will move from inside to outside. Okay. And it will move till that time up to where it will become a little bit less. Okay. Difference must be less. Uh, suppose it can be between 6 to 10 Okay, and when water outside it is okay less and soil concentration is more, then it will move from outside to inside in such a way that difference must be less. It can be up to 28. So in that condition it will adjust according to the surrounding. Clear? I hope so that we have understood about osmolarity. Second is temperature. Okay, in this way also organism is divided into two things that is thermoregulators and thermoconformers. Student, what happen in thermoregulator? As I have told to you that regulator means it will maintain the constant temperature. Okay. So how? When outside the conditions are low or 
cold okay then our body will shiver so that it will maintain constant temperature and when outside the conditions are hot then our body sweat in order to maintain the constant temperature i hope so the thing is clear to you third response is migrate and example here are your birds and fishes clear but before that you must know that what is migration students it is a temporary to and fro movement of organism to and fro means what first they will move from one place to another and then again again move from that place to their original place for a temporary purpose and that temporary purpose can be for breeding or it can be in search of food clear so reasons can be your extreme condition it can be too hot okay and in that condition those birds are unable to survive so they will migrate okay and other can be photo period clear sometime birds migrate from one place to another for breeding purpose also why because for the development of their gonads such as ovaries and testes clear they need more and more photo period so they migrate clear and second they can move in search of food example is falcon and siberian crane clear and if i take the example of fishes dear students on the basis of migration fishes can be of two type that is catadromous fishes and anadromous fishes what happen in catadromous fishes student here those fishes will migrate from fresh water to marine habitat for breeding purpose clear and then again they will move to their original whereas in case of anadromous fishes your fishes will migrate from marine to your fresh water okay example of your anadromous fishes is hilsa and example of your catadromous fishes is it very important for your competitive point of view clear so fourth is your suspend okay what happen here the the development of the body it will suspend for a shorter period of time uh, such as your hibernation estivation and diapause clear what happen in hibernation student it is also known as winter sleep and here organism go for sleep for a longer period of time okay and during that time the metabolic rate of its body is very low very slow clear so that it can survive for that period of time example is bear second is estivation also known as summer sleep here also that organism okay protect itself from the from the from the extreme condition of sun okay and it will migrate to a burrows for a shorter period of time okay suppose they can move early in the morning when there is much heat and they can come out during night last is your diapause example is zooplankton clear student in adverse condition what happen they form a cyst like structure okay and during that time what happen development is also very slow so student i hope so that you have understood uh, so if i give summary of the topic student we have studied that there are four type of responses of the biotic factor toward the abiotic factor first is your regulation second is your confirmers third is your migration and fourth is your suspension clear i hope so that the thing is clear to you thank you and have a nice day